guys welcome back to another video um this is really exciting i hope you guys enjoy that cliffhanger but we're starting off with squats today and we're working to a top single of rp5 and this has been feeling super good no knee caving really loving the wide stance um and i just really feel like i'm getting the point or the hang of hinging not as much because before i would hinge too much it would put way too much pressure on my lower back so i warmed up um tried to see how this 225 felt and it felt pretty good so i jumped up to the 235 and it felt pretty good as well um i'm i like full grip still but it finds it takes a while for me to find a good grip where it doesn't hurt my wrist and i really like how my knees didn't really cave as much and then for back down sets i was looking for rp6 i believe um but this set was too heavy so i kind of went lower and i was a little sad that this was heavy because i feel like the weight is light but you know i think we're still playing around with stance and really trying to learn how to hinge properly it's weird because like since i'm really posterior chain dominant i tend to over hinge which also puts a lot of stress on my lower back which is why i used to have really bad lower back pain when i'm squatting so just really thinking about purely just a down up movement and sometimes it feels like i'm not even hinging but it just looks fine and that's how i should be squatting and I also find that gripping the ground, like really pressing my individual toes and spreading them into the ground really helps with stabilization. And it really also practicing my brace too, like keeping rib cage down and everything. Um, because on the side angle, I think I'm still not that good at bracing, especially when I come out of the hole. Um, I still have that air interior tilt and my hips shoot up a little bit first, which I'm not super happy about. But um, Overall, squats felt really good. I don't have any pain whatsoever. My def is really good, so um, probably going to work on cutting a little bit def, maybe. But um, yeah, for bench warm-ups, we're working to another top single, RPEs, uh, 7 to 8, so it was really exciting. Um, this moved really easy, and I was super surprised. So we'll take a look at this top single right here. moved fucking crazy like i was kind of scared but it moved really fast and i was like fuck yeah you know um so that is actually a two pound pr because my pr is 188 and it's crazy because two months ago i hit that and it was freaking slow is rp10 so i would say that was like an rp like seven but um these back down sets felt great and everything um nothing to say much about here and uh yeah really nothing much i honestly feel like after i did that top single of 190 these back down sets just felt dumb light so i just really focused on pausing because i'm not trying to be cocky and stuff so i just really want to work on focusing on the pause when the weight is light so i still want to practice my form and stuff and then for the larsons um these felt heavy like i think the bench volume is getting to me also after this whole bench workout i was having the gnarliest pump like my chest my shoulders my biceps my triceps my forearms were all so pumped i literally thought my muscles were gonna explode from my skin um does that make sense but yeah um they just were difficult really difficult um i busted through it and yeah, the last two reps were kind of hard, but I was really just focused on technique, really focusing on engaging my lats on the way down. And this is the second set. And I like wrist wraps with these just because I like using wrist wraps when it's um, high rep sets, um, no matter what the weight is. I think that's what I like um, using wrist wraps for. But um, if you see this re-rack, uh, you know, help me. <laughs> So that was the second time that I almost got decapitated by the weight. So I'm really gonna lower the bench rack height because before I already lowered it when I got decapitated the first time with a spotter. So I'm really just gonna lower it. So now my bench rack height is, um, I think a nine. Yeah, before it was 11. So um, I got a spotter for this set because I didn't want to die. Um, yeah, felt good though. Um, last rep was a grind. But that's pretty much the end of the workout. I'm really, really happy with today's workout. Left the gym, super pumped, super happy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.